it's been a while. I took like a, a month off for no reason, pretty much. Just wanted to take a break and not worry about filming or editing and put in that time. And um, ever since the national team break and just couldn't get myself back into the, the rhythm. And it was kind of nice just to uh, spend some time with the family. And, you know, I felt like my content was getting really repetitive as well. But this is exciting video, obviously, uh, there's three games on this, two of which I'm playing, especially the last last game. There's some some stuff that happened that I'm going to talk about later in the video. But good to be back. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I have have been keeping up with the short form content on TikTok and uh, even on YouTube shorts, posting the GoPro stuff and all kinds of other stuff as well. So make sure to follow up on there. Training on ice, um, even though you know seven years of pro, I still my my game starts from fundamentals and the easy stuff and the simple stuff like when I in square to the puck and I'm in the right spot. I've got my holes. I'm tracking well. That's when I'm playing my best, and that's that allows me to do all the other stuff. So every time we're on the ice, we work on being square to the puck, little adjustments. I feel like that's important in my game, just to be on my line and be square, and that's where all the movement starts. So, uh, kind of a theme for all the on ice sessions. Leksand har varit väldigt starka. Leksand som har vunnit samtliga tre matcher mot Luleå. Östman ställer upp då i powerplay till Keiro som skjuter det där skottet i mål. Det blir mål direkt efter 11 sekunder och Leksand leder matchen. Knut in framför mål. Östman, den där passningen är riktigt snygg och då är det 2-0 Leksand. 2-1 Patrik Sackrisson. På Luleå chansen i powerplay med inget mål att fyra senaste matcherna i den här spelformen. Connelly skjuter direkt och det är retur i mål! Den här också till Knutsson, droppar tillbaka och Hinnemann får in den i mål! Han får in den mellan benen på Mattias Ward och... Det läge för Jonathan Andersson som sätter den där! Den har Luleås mål mot Exxon den här säsongen. Det är 3 och 6. Till Lindholm som skjuter direkt i mål och det är 4-2 Leksand. Anton Lindholm sprätter iväg den där på. Hittar den där passningen och det är reducerat igen. Kom. Kostet i Komarik som får skottläget här och skottet blir iväg. Men det täcks bort av Jonas Anelöv som täcker skottet. Och det blir Leksand som vinner och går rent mot Luleå den här säsongen. Playing against Lula was the first game for me in a, in a long time and um, I'm going to try to keep the game recap short but um, obviously got the job done, got the win which was the most important part. Felt good in the game. Obviously the first period I only got one shot so that was the biggest challenge I feel like for that game but then in the second period everything kind of changed. They got a bunch of power plays. 
they ended up scoring on a rebound on a one-timer and then the second goal in the third period was uh, kind of I've been talking about bad luck following me this season and kind of the same thing where their guys coming onto the board like in the video it might look like he's shooting but he's trying to make a pass and our, our guy gets a stick on it and uh, changes direction and goes five holes so pretty much an own goal and I was kind of obviously trying to stay on my feet and react to the pass and when he tries to make that pass and see where it's going I kind of make the first move and then you know kind of hands are tight when he goes five hole like that and then uh, the third goal they made a pass out RD was in a battle up front uh, he kind of slides into me bumps into me I can't really get my spot on top of the crease and obviously he's standing right here when the puck's going this way so I can't even can't even make a save so uh, that that's where my hands were really tight but I uh, ended up battling it out and getting the three points which is the most important one and uh, after that it was just a busy schedule we uh, three game weeks and then we had a road trip to uh, Oscar's home I wasn't playing that game but I kind of filmed the day and what was it like going on the road again And then I got the start against Färjestad at home. I think it was the first game in three months that I played at home. Family was there. They haven't really, my wife and my daughter haven't seen me play at home for only a couple times this year. And yeah, I was excited. I was feeling good. I wore my old mask in that game, the two-piece, because uh, morning skate of the Luleå game, I got a one-timer right, right up here in the teeth. Um, I felt like I broke my jaw. Luckily, no teeth, no damage like that. I got a, a nice little cut there on the lip, but um, yeah, just had to go back to the two-piece. It's just so comfortable, and the mo I feel the most protected in that, and I feel like my field of vision is better in that. So hopefully, you guys don't think it's ugly. I think it's unique, and obviously the fit is there, the protection is there, so uh, I, ha I had to go back to that one. I'm going in um, early. They scored with a point shot that got tipped right away and then another tip that was very close to being high stick uh, so a double tip to start I kind of reacted to the first tip stayed on my feet and then they tipped it through my feet the second goal was kind of a defensive break um, one of their best players was with the puck all alone in front of me uh, and he made a nice play I just I tried to take away just over the pad with my glove but he ended up putting it right here so uh, yeah, he made a nice play. I don't think those two goals were anything anything bad. I guess could have happened at any time. And then getting ready for the second period, and then I found out I'm I'm being pulled. So uh, that was kind of a surprise to me because I don't think there was any reason that I that that should have happened. And had a chat with the coach the next day, and he just said it was his gut feeling to pull, and felt felt confident and good the whole game, and then end up saying it might have been his mistake so um stuff like that happens we move on but obviously it sucks that you know my family was there watching and i'm trying to turn my season around and you know that that kind of stuff happens so 
Uh, but that's in the that's in the past now, and we'll move on. And and then I had gotten a tiny little injury from the previous game I played, um, and I wasn't gonna play the next game on the that was on Saturday. So I decided to stay home and for the for the game and um, take the rest of the week off to kind of rest and relax and heal up because it's gonna be busy and. Playoffs are starting, and then obviously some some fans and some news articles came out that had a bad attitude or thrown out and not selected to go with the team, something like that. I like media and fans. Like most of the Lexington fans are great, uh, supportive, awesome, pretty much the best fans and I've I've seen in hockey in my career. But then there's obviously some bad ones, like any team is gonna have, and then they're gonna attack my my attitude and what kind of team player I am and but they didn't know the whole story and obviously it was that was the whole situation so I just wanted to clear it up here so if anybody saw any bad articles or comments that uh, I was just nursing an injury that's why I didn't go but negative comments and bad fans are part of the job so I'm just gonna try to do a better job of blocking that stuff out since it doesn't matter at all uh, just focus on the rest of the season we uh, this moment when I'm filming, we got five games left in the regular season, and then it's playoffs. Um, so I don't know how much I'll be filming, uh, but you know, my goal is to help the team in the playoffs, and hopefully I can be a difference maker. I feel like I definitely can be, and uh, then we'll see what happens. So it's an exciting time of the season, and I thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you enjoyed it after a little break. So I'm all good. Here we are back at it again, so uh, make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I will see you hopefully soon.